Welcome to our lecture online. One of the applications of the diagonalization matrix is that we're able to take the power of a matrix, not just the matrix squared, but the matrix to any power. And the equation to do that, given a particular matrix, is that a to the n is equal to p times the diagonalization matrix to the n power times p to the minus 1, or the inverse of p, we should say. Of course, remember now that d is simply equal to a matrix that has the eigenvalues across the diagonal and zeros everywhere else, and the P matrix is a matrix of the eigenvectors. So here, if these are the two eigenvectors of the given matrix, you can see then that this is the P matrix, and we'll show you in just a moment how to find the inverse of P. So what we're going to do first is, given this matrix, let's go ahead and find the square of the matrix the way we normally would do it, is simply multiply the matrix together by itself. We could say that this is simply equal to a times a, and therefore this can be written as negative 5, negative 4, 8. 7, and then multiply it simply by itself. Now let's multiply this out and see what we get. So for the first element, we get positive 25 minus 32, which is a minus 7, minus 40 plus 56, that's a positive 16 positive 20 minus 28, that's a minus 8, and minus 32 plus 49, that's a positive 17. For yes, that is. All right, so here is a squared. Now we're going to find the same result using this method here. Now at first you're going to say, why bother with that? Because it, this is actually quite easy to do, I and mean, that's of course true, but if you, what if you want to find a to the fifth power, or a to the 100th power, you'd be sitting here for a very long time trying to do this 100 times, when you can actually do it much easier this way. So let's go ahead and see how it's done that way. First of all, the diagonalization matrix, D is equal to, and it's simply going to be the eigenvalues, which we figured out in the previous video. So we have minus 1 and 3, and zeros everywhere else. Then we have the P matrix, and we showed you there already, this is simply a matrix of the eigenvectors, which have to be corresponding to the eigenvalues in the same order. And now we want to find the inverse of the P matrix. The inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is equal to 1 over the determinant, and of course we'll put that in parentheses here, or little quotation marks I should say, in order to not confuse it with this matrix right here. This means the determinant of matrix P times the matrix where we exchange the diagonal elements and we change the sign of these elements right here. And of course we can say that the determinant of that matrix is equal to the product of those two, which is 2 times 1 minus the product of those two, 1 times 1, which in this case is 2 minus 1, or simply 1, which makes it easy. 1 divided by 1 is 1, so we don't have to worry about it. So we can simply say that the inverse of the P matrix is equal to 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 2. Now we go ahead and plug it in here. So we have the a to the second power is equal to the p matrix times the d matrix raised to the second power. This is a diagonal matrix right here to the second power times the inverse of p. So in this case, that's going to be equal to p, which is this matrix right here. One and one. Two. Now what about the diagonal matrix squared? Whenever you only have elements along the diagonal, when you then square a matrix like that, you simply have to square the diagonal elements. So in this case, this will be equal to 1, negative 1 squared, which is 1, and 3 squared, which is 9. And that makes it quite easy. So we go ahead and plug that in here. That's 1 zero and nine. 0. And then we have the inverse P matrix, 1, negative 1, and 2. One. All right, now we're going to multiply these two matrices together. This is equal to 2 plus 0. 0 plus 9, 1 plus 0, and 0 plus 9. So these two matrices multiplied together gives you this. Multiply this times this, which is 1, 2, and now we do it one more time. So we have 2 minus 9 is minus 7. We have 1 minus 9 is minus 8. And here we have minus 2 
plus 18 is plus 16. And here we have minus 1 plus 18, which is 17. And this should be exactly the same as what we have over there. And when you check, you can see by inspection that, yes, indeed, that is the same. Notice that's a pretty interesting method. We can actually find the power of any matrix. All we have to do is change the number on here. So we can do d cubed, d to the 4, d to the 5th. All we have to do is simply square, cube, or raise it to a higher power, sandwich in between the p and the p inverse matrix, and we can solve for that nth power of the matrix. So in the future videos, we'll show you some examples where we have some higher power of the matrix. You see how nice that method actually is, and that's how it's done.